Hi folks, Dr. Bob. How's it going? As I said in my previous video, that's how you say hello when you live in New York. How's it going? Everybody says it. Uh, there used to be a show years ago called NYPD Blue, and I can't remember the name of uh, the main character. He was there through all the different seasons. And he'd always walk in and say, hey, how's it going? He was a real New Yorker, you could tell, you know, a native. But that's how you say hello. So if you ever go there, and I lived there in the 80s when it was really, really dangerous. I wouldn't go there now if my life depended on it. It's not dangerous. It's out of control. Uh, they kind of stopped arresting criminals there for some reason. And then all the stuff that's all going on in the hotels and everything, whew, they're destroying the city. I love New York. I really love it. It's a nice place to visit. You don't want to really live there, my opinion. I was glad to get out when I did back in 93. I'll tell you that story sometime. You wouldn't believe what a wild event that was my last day in New York. Um, anyway, uh, what I want to talk to, to you today about was these credit card scams. It's really just a scam. It's Visa doing this. And so what they've done is there's a, something called a chargeback. You probably know what that is. So if you, if you buy something, you don't like it or you didn't get it, you do a chargeback. And, um, and that means you're challenging the, the, the credit card. And I've see, I saw one woman, um, not from me, it was someone else, it was someone we were doing business with. The, the woman stole $600 from this guy, just stole it. Because she says, I didn't get my stuff. Well, we know she got her stuff. It was delivered to her. We had the proof. It was a $600 order. And the woman just stole it. And they got away with it. Because the credit card uh, companies, um, you know, the, your banks that you do business with, they side with the customer like 90% of the time, maybe more, almost all the time. So when we see a chargeback, we know they're coming after us. We had one recently. She, you know, UPS lost the package. You know, it was with UPS, and then it went to the post office, and it was, you know, the tracking on it was crazy. And she, she went and made a claim with UPS, and she, we know she got her money, and then she made a, she charged us back. So she, she made money off of the deal. <laughs> she made, she made like hundred eighty dollars off of this deal. And that's what goes on. You, you, you show them all the evidence. They don't care. They just want to keep that credit card. They want to keep their customers so they keep them happy. And so when you, in my business, you see a chargeback, um, that's, that's bad. And now Visa, they started charging $20 to the, 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 the business, not to the holder, every time that a chargeback is issued. So um, say, if you really wanted to screw something, so in other words, somebody issues a chargeback against me, it's they charge me $20. What am I going to do about it? Where, where does this stuff come from? And Visa, I'll let you know, they make billions of dollars every year in profits, and they, it becomes more and more every year. They're, they're another scam operation, if you really know what's going on in the credit card world. Um, so if you want to really get back at a um, business or somebody who owns a business you don't like, what you do is you go, say a gas station, and you go in and you buy a little tiny bottle of water, maybe it's 89 cents, just a tiny one, and uh, maybe it's a buck and a half, and then what you do, you go in five days in a row, or whatever, and then you issue five chargebacks to, to that business, to that credit card through your bank. And that little tiny company there, that gas station, they're gonna be charged $100 for five chargebacks, okay? And if you did it, you know, whatever, 10 times $200. so. And there's nothing they can do about it. And they're going to pay, pay that regardless whether they win or not. So for your little 89 cent, um, you know, bottle of water, or maybe you've got a pack of gum or whatever it is, and you paid with a credit card, um, they get charged, you know, I mean, I, when you go do a chargeback, well, now they're going to get charged $20 each time. You do it five times, 100 bucks. You do it as many times as you want. You know, you do it too many times. Maybe your credit card uh, might cancel you. Probably not. Um, they want to keep your business at, at all costs. So that's really kind of another scam that's going on out there. And as I said, the, I don't MasterCards. I don't think is doing this now, and I don't think uh, I don't think uh, American Express. I don't think believe they're doing it. But you know, if you really want to screw somebody, wow, what a way to do it. And uh, you, there's nothing you can uh, nothing you can do on that. Nothing you can you can find out like one way or another what's you know um, you know what this person's up to or anything. You're going to be charged regardless. So this is a really terrible thing. It's come out recently, and um, you know again these Visa they're making billions in profit every single year. Of course they're making billions, but maybe they're losing money. No, they're they're profiting and they're doing very well. And on top of it all, they're going after the small business businesses because you know the, these big corporations you know it's not that they don't care but it, i mean if they see it enough time they'll stop doing business with you nothing you can do about it 
Same thing with me. If I see some chargeback coming through from the same customer over and over, I'm going to get suspicious. But in a gas station, when you've got all this in and out and everything and you don't know who somebody is, you could send somebody in with your credit card. They don't even know it's you because who looks at the credit card anymore and matches the name with, the, you know, they ask for ID. They're supposed to. They don't. So it's a good way to really get at people if you're unethical. Or maybe they did something real bad to you. Maybe they t treated you badly or your, your wife was in there, treated her badly. Um, but, you know, either way, it's really wrong. And it's the small businesses that are going to pay the price every single time. And it's a way they, they really hate small businesses and they want to get rid of small businesses completely. Businesses like mine. And so we're just all run by giant corporations. You know, years ago, PayPal, they closed my account. And the reason they did that is no, no, no reason. No, who knows? I don't know. I still don't know to this day and I'm never going to find out. They just close it. And uh, what I found out was they keep your money for six months. Isn't that great? Can a bank do that? No. But they're not regulated. They're PayPal. And, um, you know, so uh, there they were. They gave me no, there's 95 page agreement that you sign on to. I'm sure you knew that, right? Um, when you go into PayPal. Maybe this is years ago. Maybe it's 200 pages by now. Who knows? But there's about, there was about 10, maybe 12 pages in red. And the print is this big. And that's what will get you kicked off of PayPal. So you're going to read through that. You know, no one's even going to read 10 pages with type that big. It's all legalese. And um, you got your account closed. So they had my money. It's about $8,000. They had that for six months. And then finally, after six months, they allowed us to transfer to our bank. And that's it. You know, and, and they, they, we finally got our money back. And uh, if we didn't get it back, what am I going to do for $8,000? Am I going to sue PayPal? I mean, no. They're a giant corporation. They're a public corporation. They're, you know, I'm never going to get any money out of them. I, I've got to go to a lawyer for $8,000. No. You'll get your money eventually, I guess, if they feel like it. And you just, I'm trying to warn you about how dangerous these places are, these PayPals and Venmos. I mean, they really have got your money there, okay? And... Um, you really got to be careful about it. I'm very careful about which bank has my money. Uh, I wouldn't do business with any of the big banks. Uh, they're very dangerous. They'll close your account over anything. Um, they don't care. They're, most, of the, most of their money is made in commercial uh, banking. That's where they make most of the money, the big banks in particular. And so you just got to uh, watch out for these people. They'll nickel and dime you everywhere they can uh, get a nickel or a dime out of you. And uh, they'll just, they call the shots. You have no... Uh, say you know PayPal they just said uh, you, you know they give you this attitude in this letter if, if you, they send us you don't this is a final decision don't contact us you're not gonna we're not gonna discuss this and figure out what happened maybe it was a mistake no they, they don't care they just this is a final decision don't contact us about this and they give you this attitude you know what you did you know you know what you did you know you're a little squirrely guy there whatever you you know what you know what got this happen and you have no clue and so I learned right then and there, wow, uh, you know, I took down all the PayPal stuff from my account or from my, 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 my website so you can pay by PayPal because, of course, you couldn't. But uh, a lot of people were very upset about that. Well, you know, it's fine. I, I want nothing to do with it. It's a 3% charge. I mean, geez, you know, I mean, American Express is 3% and people don't want to carry that. But PayPal, hey, no problem, 3%. You know, the other ones are like a 2% charge. It depends on how much business you do. But this is what they're doing out there, and it's just another way to screw small businesses like mine. So I, I hope you give us our, uh, your business. I really do. Because this is how you fight up back about this machine. And it's just a machine. And machines roll over anyone for any reason, anytime they want to do it, and there's nothing you can do about it. Because they, they're, they're like these giant bulldozers that just go over anything. No, nothing can stop them. Like I said, Visa, I mean, they're making billions of dollars and they're making more every year. And then they do this stuff because they know they can get away with it. So watch out for your chargebacks um, if you're a small company. And in, unless you're really unethical, don't issue chargebacks and really, unless you really have a, a, a grievance and they, somebody took your money and you didn't get anything for it. I mean, it happens, of course. Um, I can't remember if I've ever done a chargeback myself. I've had some um, <clears throat> dubious things appear in my credit card. I call my credit card company and they usually take those charges off because they can see it's fraud and then they issue me a new credit card. That's what I, that's what they usually do for me. So at any rate, I just thought I'd warn you about that and let you know this is what's going on out there. And if you're a small business, watch out for it. 
and as if you're just a regular person, I hope you do businesses with small business, do business with small businesses like mine, and stop giving your money to all these giant corporations, the Amazons, and uh, you know the, with the big banks because they they'll they don't care about you obviously, and they will just screw you whenever it's convenient for them. They could care less. They're they're a public corporation. They don't need you. They don't need any of us to survive. And when's the last time you've seen one of these? big uh, companies go out of business. Pretty rare. Anyway, Dr. Bob, how's it going? Now you know where that comes from. That is a New York hello. See you next time.